Okay, so a lot of you have asked for everyday makeup or makeup that I wear on photo shoots or whatever, and I've been super hesitant to do um, a makeup tutorial just because I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I'm afraid I'm gonna slip up my words or like say something wrong about some kind of brush or like some kind of method that I do because I don't know technical terms. But I am willing to give it a shot because there have been so many requests and I wanna give you guys what you're asking for. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how to contour every day. <gasps> Contouring, it just seems so intense. Newsflash, it doesn't have to take a million years. I am going to be using my absolute favorite, the only cream contour I use, the only cream highlighter, the only thing I use the best in the whole entire world, mascara. She has the best line of cream contours, blushes, highlighters, eliminators. So we're just gonna jump into it and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it really quickly. It doesn't have to take forever. She calls it hacking. I'm gonna show you how to hack. The caffeine is kicking in. Finally, woo. But first I do the contour, but I'm gonna show you guys before I do that, how I'm gonna pick my highlight. It doubles as my foundation, as my powder, um, my concealer. And this little guy right here is joining us for the fun. So before I start, I wanna show you guys a couple of the new products I just got from her and kind of give you an idea of her products and what I love to use. Okay, Mascara Beauty, I am so, so obsessed with you. Look at these beautiful tints. This is what all of her cream contours, illuminators, highlighters, everything comes in. Those are her beautiful, just a few of her blushes and her contours. And this is her eliminator. And these pop out and they get put into a compact and it's so easy to replace them and they are just beautiful. And then those are the four, three different highlighters that I chose, so, so gorgeous. And then these brushes, I can't even talk about them, I'm so obsessed. They literally replaced all the other brushes I had from eye stuff to all my contouring needs. They are beautiful, they are so soft, perfect angles and tips on everything, and it has the perfecter, hi. So I ended up picking four different highlighting colors just because I know that it's so important to choose the right one that goes right with your skin tone, especially during different seasons of the year. So let's check out what I picked. So it goes Moonlight, White Peach, Era, and Amber. So I'm actually gonna use, I think I'm gonna use today, the White Peach. We'll see how that looks. And then I got a couple different contour colors as well. I got the Stone and the Walnut. I always use Stone my favorite so we're just gonna start with that and I'm gonna use this 30 second half brush and I'm gonna use the pointed part so I can add all of the contour and then we blend it at the end go so you want to really make sure when you're doing your contour around your cheekbones that you're not just drawing a straight line to your uh, the corner of your lips that you're drawing more of an upward curve so that you're really shaping those cheekbones and then I'm also adding it around my forehead to really give my ginormous forehead definition and especially under my jawline, everywhere, all over that place, get it all over. You wanna have that definition to give you that intense jawline. And I'm gonna shoot it back to live Sadie who decided to talk again. Now I'm going to take my multitasker and I'm gonna take the flat rounded edge on the top and I'm just gonna contour my nose. And remember this is every day, so I'm gonna just not, I'm not gonna do it super intense and we're doing it quickly too. So we're just gonna do it down the sides of the nose, connecting it to the eyebrow. Okay, so before I blend that all in, I'm gonna actually now add my highlighter and I'm just gonna put it under my eyes, shaping my nose. A little bit on my T-zone down the bridge of my nose, under my lips, and add a little bit right there to hide that, and then above my lip. So now that I've got all that done, I'm going to blend it out, and I'm gonna initially start with this amazing blender that she has. Um, it's her perfecter is what she calls it, and you always wanna get it soaking wet, sopping wet, like sponge it out. So we'll just blend this all in.
And initially, I'm only going to use the blender just around the face, the nose. And then I'll take the everything brush and do a little bit more blending right there. And then I'm taking this big honkin', what's it called, B-squared brush. And I'm just going to blend everything else in. I'm going to blend in my highlighter first so that the dark doesn't get too blended. And then go back and just blend. I had um, a primer on that I used as a moisturizer before I started and that was it. So now I'm gonna just add pink grapefruit blush just really quick on the apples of my cheeks. And just smile and put it on the raised part. It's like super subtle and I'm gonna blend that in a little bit more with my B squared brush. Pearl eliminator just to the corner of the eye. Can even add a little bit underneath the eyebrow. And then I'm gonna add a little pink grapefruit blush that I used on the apples of my cheeks and just put a teeny bit on my lips. So easy. You can still see my freckles. Shapes my face and it's lightweight. Super simple, doesn't have to be complicated and it can replace your everyday routine that you use with your foundation and powder and yet it gives so much more dimension to your face and it's just the perfect everyday look. So thanks for watching. We are doing a giveaway. Head to my blog to check out the details.